Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is number 21 video in Windows Server 2016 tutorial step by step. So in this video I am going to focus on RDS Remote Desktop Services installation and configuration step by step. So basically we are going to deploy the RDS infrastructure which include the connection broker server, session host servers and we will um, going to access those uh, session host server by using the thin client devices. So I am focusing on this this particular thing which is remote desktop multiple users concurrent accessing uh, accessing the same machine windows remote desktop services is the traditional name so basically we are going to do this setup for now so let's see what we have as infrastructure ready for this demo so I have basically four virtual machine here uh, which is acting as a server so the first is when to get 16 DC01 which is my Active Directory DNS and DHCP server so if you go here you can find my first server which is Active Directory DNS and DHCP is running on this machine and this is my domain controller basically Win2K16 DC01 and the IP address is this 192.168.1.254 and my domain name is victorinfosol.com here you can see and the next machine is RDS Win2K16 RDS which is going to be a RDS server which is going to hold a remote desktop connection broker gateway licenses these things so this is basically a connection broker servers and next we have a two session host server uh, Win2K16 SSH01 and SSH02 you can see here both having 32 gig of RAM and this is already joined in my domain victorinfosol.com so you, here you can see SSG01 and 32 gig of RAM and this machine also having uh, joining my domain and 32 gig of RAM so why we need a session host servers for example if you want to give your users uh, end users and thin client devices and you want to um, have uh, have a remote session to these session host servers and they can use the operating system uh, server operating system to run the application or uh, on any any like any particular things which is installed on these session host servers so for example you can go ahead and see I have installed MS Office 2016 on this machine and same I have installed on SH01 and SH02 both having MS Office so if you have any custom application you can go ahead and install those custom application on your session host servers and the client machine can access those uh, remote desktop sessions and they can use those applications so we, that we are going to do and we have a thin client also win 7 th01 th02 and th03 these all is uh, thin client devices which you can say uh, this is windows embedded standard windows 7 and this is also a join in my domain so we have a three thin client here you can see ts02 and last one is th03 so let's see what we have in active directory here first so if you go here under the noida you can see we have a group rds user in rds user i have a few members user 01 02 03 04 05 so i am going to give uh, access to these use uh, these group rds group so all the users can access these uh, remote desktop session host servers and we have a one server here which is rds which is going to be a connection broker and we have two session host server and a thin client I having three thin client devices and users you can see we have a uh, five normal users and one is RDS admin users which I'm using to logged into my uh, these servers like session host servers and uh, um, basically on a session host server and a connection broker server you can see RDS admin and here you can see also RDS admin RDS admin so this is all I have in Active Directory infrastructure ready so let's go and do the step by step uh, task to create a RDS session host servers so the first thing I need to do I need to add these servers in my server managers 
the session host server so I'm going to add these servers here on the server manager go to all servers and add servers I'm going to find if you have a name you can go ahead and type the name and find so I have a small infra here so I can click on find and I can see my servers here so I'm going to add these servers now and it's always recommended to start the performance counter so if you have any performance issue related to these uh, session or server you can get the notification on your home page here so good to go and now I'm going to install a remote desktop services role so add role go to server manager manage add role and features click next and we have a role based or feature based installation remote desktop services installation so I need to install a remote desktop services to create a session host desktop deployment so I'm going to select this click next and deployment time I'm, I'm going to use a standard deployment type uh, you have also multi point quick so I'm going to use the standard a standard deployment allow you to deploy remote desktop services across multiple servers so click next and we have a virtual machine based deployment and session based deployment so uh, I'm going to um, bring these two session servers as a session host server so I'm going to select the session based deploy desktop deployment click next and you can see the three component is required to support the session host deployment which is going to install in this uh, session so you can see here the remote desktop connection broker the definition is also given here remote desktop web app and remote desktop session host server the session host enables servers to host the remote app or the session based desktops so good to go click next now we have a, a specify RD connection broker so in a specify RD connection broker I want to use RDS server click next and next we have a web access server so I'm going to take this bar install the RD web access role on an RDS connection broker server so click next then we have a session host so I'm going to select my both the SS01 and the 02 server which is going to be a session host server so click next and we have a confirmation page now so it's saying like uh, the deployment server may restart this servers after installation role so go ahead so these two servers is going to restart so I'm going to select restart the destination so automatically if required and click on deploy so this process is going to take some time and it's going to enable the uh, these roles and then it's going to reboot both the session host servers to enable the remote desktop features and session host features on those machines so you can see it's currently it's installing the connection broker role services now it's configuring RD web access role services going to take few minutes here then both you can see is stable and now in progress so it's going to install a RD session host roles and then the servers will reboot and then you can see these task is also going to complete by default so it's installing the session host role services And now you can see its status is restarting so you can go and see both the session host services getting rebooted so it's going to reboot and come back once again and then the setup will resume to configure those machines as the session host servers you can see both the machines is getting re restart So it's, it's rebooted. We can go and log in now. So 
so it will take some time to reflect here now you can see we have a remote desktop services enabled if you go here and click on remote desktop services you can see there was no RD connection broker services and this server pool so make sure you have a RDS connection broker server if you want to see this uh, connection broker uh, deployment RDS deployment so now you can see the RDS connection broker role is succeed and this access role is also okay so everything looks good we are successfully deployed this uh, RDS connection broker with the session host server so go ahead and click finish now you can go and remote desktop services and you can see we have a web server we have a uh, session connection broker and two sessions so if you want to add a licensing you can simply go here and select your server where you want to install a licensing and you can just go ahead and add this licensing role I'm doing this also so this going this server is going to hold the licensing role also so close now you can see we have a licensing role also if you want to configure licensing you can go here and remote desktop license manager and you can configure your license by activate server and you need to follow the instructions how you want to activate and if you have any issue you can contact Microsoft and activate your licenses so this is all about the licensing and now we are good to go and deploy the collection so I'm going to create a collection so create a session collection um, I'm going to put so it's taking you need to follow the complete wizard uh, so you have existing users or group must be existing in Active Directory and good to go click next and name I'm going to put here like session host demo and click next and you can see we have it both session host servers here click next and I want to give to access to my RDS users group which we have uh, in our AD uh, this group which having five user added so click next I don't want to enable this profile disk click next and everything looks good click on create so succeeded go ahead and close this and now if you go here you can see the like what we have uh, you can um, later on if you want to edit something you can go and edit like name groups sessions what you need the default security and what level of security um, client compatibility encryption level load balancing you can set if you want to give some so, some machine heavy load or some session host low load so you can see the uh, redirection also in profile so these are all the basic stuff and yeah if you want to publish any application you can go and publish those application on RD web page also and at the below you can see the session host servers and the allow new connection we can see true if you want to deny any users to log into these servers you can simply go anytime and you can select do not allow new connection so it's not going to allow any new connection to these servers um, if you want to edit deployment you have a option to put the license so like you can put the device and you can apply the uh, license you can see this is a active license server so if you have a certificate which you want to include in this RDS connection broker or 
or these pages you can go ahead and add this so this is a small demo of the features or the place which we have in RDS connection broker management so now what I'm going to do I'm going to create a DNS entry in my Active Directory server to redirect the client from one server to another server so I'm going to put here RDS and the IP address of my first D, uh, session host server which is 131 so 1.1 1 .1 it's 231 uh, the second one is RDS 192.168 1.232 and click add oops we need to add one more time rds 192.168.1.232 now we have uh, this entry here now we can go ahead and try to remote desktop this machines so under the uh, on a thin client machine I'm going to put here uh, SS series remote desktop and I'm going to put RDS you can see it's coming and I'm going to put my username and password here same I'm going to do for my second machine first time it's going to take some time because it's going to create a local profile on your servers to user which you are going to logged in now click yes click yes I want to connect here also you need to select yes now you can see we got the session on my thin client 01 and I can go basically and launch any software here if I go and I want to use the word I can go and use the word here you can see with this uh, with the different same I can use a notepad and anything which is installed on the server itself and we got the session here also for user 2 cmd and who am i user 2 and same if you want here who am i user 0 1 and here you can see we have user 3 here who am i user 3 and if you go to um, your RDS server, if you refresh here, you can see all the servers, all the session which is active, you can see here. We have a session on SH01 and 02 both. So, this is, uh, this is all about how to uh, install a remote desktop services and session host server installation and configuration so if you have any query any question related to this you can post me on my given mail ids and thank you once again bye bye